Hi, this is Dr. Mehrotra and it's my extreme honor and pleasure to be standing here next to Dr. Samir Dalwai. And Dr. Dalwai, one of the biggest things that our community faces is that, first of all, there's a huge stigma on having a child with uh, special needs. What would you like to say about that and how can the parents be a little bit more proactive? Well, I think the stigma is largely because parents uh, fear that nothing much can be done for this child and the child will be left out of society and will have to probably undergo a lot of ordeal. So I think the whole point starts with making parents aware that every child can do better and every child can be helped to do much better than what the problem could be. And that starts really with the parents taking the initiative to seek out the best possible solution for their child. Very often it may not be the very first or the most convenient or the closest solution that they might get. So there's always a little bit of a trial and error. The point should be to see to it that the child does better and better every day. I mean, maybe not exactly in a 24 hours day, but over a period of time. So they have to keep monitoring that the child does better. And I'm, there's no end to how good or how much better the child can do. So they're always scared. It's like a death sentence for a parent that, oh my God, there's something wrong with my child, that they don't want to deal with it. What would you like to say to that? Well, in fact, it's the other way around. If, you're, if somebody has a malignancy or has meets with a terrible accident, well, that's something that's going to stay back to haunt them. But a child with a neurodevelopmental disorder, well, the worst is already over. And the child could only do better and better and better and better. It requires... Un, uh, uh, you know, relentless work from the team of specialists looking after the child and a great combination with the parents and you need to do this all the time. Unlike a disease or a malignancy which could come back and worsen whatever else was there, only in a very few neurodevelopmental cases would you have actual worsening of the disease per se. Most of these aren't even diseases, they're neurodevelopmental conditions in which the child hasn't developed normally, isn't it? So the more you work on it, the better the child will develop and the more functionality the child will have, I'm sure. That's a very positive way of looking at things. Um, now, the parents now are getting more and more educated about this. What do you think uh, parents should do more to educate themselves and how should they be aware that the proper care is being taken by the pediatrician on this. I think the bane of this subject has been the subjectivity around it and the lack of objectivity because unless you can measure something, you can never really try and get that better, can you? So I think parents should uh, uh, you know, take this approach that, well, this is where the child is and have a kind of an objective approach towards it and see how much better the child is getting. We all know there's no one particular center, or one particular method or one particular way. Everybody has something to add to the child. But they should not get lost in the quagmire of subjectivity. So parents have to keep monitoring how better their child is doing in terms of skills and in terms of functions. And if they keep working towards getting the child better on skills and functions, I'm sure they'll find their own path. So a lot of the... the, the parents that I see with kids with special needs, they say the pediatrician, they would go for immunization clinics, but really not look into child development. What would you like to say about that? Well, at least in a country like India, where we were as medical students more focused on saving lives, whether it is a newborn child or whether it is an uh, infectious disease or a malignancy or an HIV. And probably a lot of us have not had good training during our college days as pediatricians. So maybe that's not the first thing on the mind which comes up. However, now with the changing scenario where there's hardly, I mean, you don't see as much infection as you did before. And it's time that pediatricians reoriented themselves towards normal developmental assessment of children because abnormal development is only a very small subset of it. But we need to get pediatricians through conferences like this, through advocates like you, to start focusing on looking at children's developmental progress in their routine clinics, whether it's a well-baby clinic or a vaccination clinic.